guys and welcome back this is now your boy Giadam Slink how you guys doing as usual support your boy like this video comment share it on all the platform follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook Adam Slink and make sure you subscribe then uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime and they upload and also good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from well guys uh, yesterday you saw the match Nigeria versus Sudan honestly I was uh, really really happy yesterday with the way we trashed them Guess what? One of the headlines that uh, made me really, really, uh, that is so, so laughable was before the match, Sudan team said they're going to shock Nigeria. But at the end of the day, <laughs> we actually shook them. Theory one, guys. And guess what? Nigeria hairline owner, the CEO or the chairman of uh, Airpeace, visited Super Ego yesterday and he pledged to give them the sum of 30 million naira. You know the goals is theory one. So Super Ego scored three goals. He decided that each goal equals to 10 million naira. So three times 10, that is 30 million. He pledged to give Super Ego the sum of 30 million naira for the goals they scored yesterday against Sudan. Progress of Nigeria, that's what matters most. Now go in there for every goal you score today. Today, I'm going to give 10 million for every goal you score today. Wow, we're we'll going in there. If you score 5 have goals, 50 million, you have 50 million. If you score 10 goals, you have uh, 100, 100, 100, million. 100 million. Go there as many goals as you can score. And at the end of the day, when you bring this cup home, I wait for you with 50 million naira. Okay. So, 2023 election is fast approaching and i think about 15 months from now or 16 months from now we definitely will be having the general election i can't wait guys and please make sure you get your pvc do not allow anybody to discourage you make sure you get your pvc and that was your favorite candidate Atiku, tinubu or anyone or sipa joe might come out one of the persons that I really want that person to come out would be Peter Obi. And uh, while Peter Obi was talking about Super Ego yesterday, someone drew his attention. This person said, Sir, if at the end of this month you don't declare interest for presidency in 2023 election, then be ready for a legal action from me. Leave Afcon for OG Uzokalo. That is calling, not yours. Your calling is excellent economy leadership congrats so he want peter Obi to declare his intention to run this month and if peter Obi don't do it do that it's going to sue peter Obi. we have had a lot of people coming and say that if you do not declare your intention for presidency we're going to sue you we have seen that numerous times even during the time of jonathan the same thing during the time of any president anybody you even wish wish that person to come outside of presidency you see them all these people coming out to sue i know all those kind of talk are just uh, flamboyant no just side talk well peter will be responded and he said i wish i knew your real name but the truth is i don't have money to send sorry i don't have money to spend on a court case give me some time <laughs> you know uh you know, in this uh, in this country, you know, the ruling power just have to win. That's how it is. And uh, if you do not win it, the next thing is court. And you know, court costs a lot of money. Then one of the really, really surprising thing eh, about this election, eh, people declaring their intention, eh, is about Showare. Showare definitely should by now declare his intention to run for president but guess what that guy they cancelled his passport his nationality was seized sure living in nigeria is not even in nigeria anymore because according to them federal government or someone in the government cancelled his nationality everything about him wiped out he cannot even uh, vote on that day. He cannot even declare anything in this country. Automatically, he's a, he's a stranger in a country he was born in. Can you imagine? <laughs> Niger. 
Well, uh, let's move past that and uh, let's move over to entertainment. You know, this comparison, man, I do not like it. So, this guy, doctor, said, Can someone explain to me how Yemi Alade has more followers than Grammy winning Whiskey? Whiskey has 13.7 million followers, and uh, Yemi Alade has 15.7 million followers. We have said it several times before. Hmm? Followers on Instagram don't mean ish. It depends on who follow you. Who follow you? People actually patronize you. Whiskey has a good fan base. Strong one. People who are willing to patronize. People who are following these big artists like so in, in in Nigeria, for instance, having this uh, like Davido twenty million plus uh, followers. Of course, Davido has a strong fan base, but major but majorly of all those people following them, I think it's about checking out their lifestyle because they post a lot about their lifestyle. They want to be getting current updates about their lifestyle and other things that are involving, but not music. Not their business, not business that brings them money. So, if you are asking the reason why Whiskey is more famous when it comes to musically, more famous in Africa than Yemi Alade, but Yemi Alade has more followers on Instagram than Whiskey, it's not far fetched, guys. Simple. It depends on the fan base. Yemi Alade fan base are interested mostly about her lifestyle, the kind of clothes she's wearing, the kind of person, person, people she's going out with. What she's going to post next, all those kind of things. And they won't just view, they will not buy her music. They will just find a illegal means to download her music. You know, David, uh, Whiskey has a strong fan base. So it doesn't really count. Uh, this is Instagram, whatever. People who have uh, this large Instagram, people who are all about that lifestyle, they just want to show. Show, 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 and show all those kind of things. So, don't look no further, guys. That is just how it is. So, this comparison, man, honestly, I do not like it. There are people compared that uh, Whiskey and uh, David O Instagram before, and uh, you, you, you all you already know, guys. Then, let's talk about this issue a jealous husband. So, it's a jealous husband allegedly stabbed man to death for greeting. His pregnant wife in Lagos. So it was gathered that both the victim and the couple live in the same compound in Awaya Sambo. And on January 10th, 2022, the victim identifies Daniel was said to have exchanged greetings with his suspect pregnant wife, Chuke. But shortly after the suspect was said to have gone to the victim's room with a kitchen knife. He was said to have accused him of sleeping with his wife. According to a source, he stabbed him multiple times until he gave up the ghost. Both him and his wife, who is currently pregnant, are on the run. The family seeking for justice. Wawahala. I said it. He cannot just he cannot just say because when I saw the headline, I said jealous wife. They said jealous wife stab a man who greets his wife. I said no man. Not just for the greeting. Something is, is, is in it. Something happened. He's accusing the guy of sleeping with his wife. Man, one of the things that I really want couples to sit down to think uh, before getting married uh, is trust. Please. It's, trust is something that you should work on. If your wife, if you suspect your wife of sleeping with men, so that means if I see your wife, I shouldn't greet her happy. I shouldn't greet her. And they're on the run now. You think you have the mind to commit a crime. Also have that mind to pay for the crime. Simple and short. You do not have to run. You be man, Abi. You carry dagger, the chuchuk, Abi. Stay one place, may they arrest you. So that you will pay put. Ah. Wow, it's crazy though. Really, really crazy. And then uh, there's this uh, 
Honorable Akin, a lawmaker in Lagos State, he said, I know someone making a decent living in Lagos by walking dogs. You know, there are people who are usually paid to go around walking their dogs. You go to this compound, you have a dog who is always in the compound, you know, just to be friendly, just to exercise. Then someone will come to your compound to you pay him little stipends and he's going to walk your dog. So someone asked him, what exactly qualifies for decent living in this country now? Three square meal. Then he responded, he said, 350k. This man did lie. Where in this country will someone pay, be paid, or be making 250k a month working at dogs? Working dogs. Where? Where? Why would I want to pay someone? Let me say in, in a month, ten thousand naira to walk my dog. We do see security. So you want to know my dog Abby? So you will come back later and uh, rob me or send people to rob me. Oh, well, apart from that though, where someone someone paid three hundred fifty k to walk dogs? Are we friendly with dogs in this country? <laughs> Nigeria is not a place where. Yeah, we can toss it. Yes, we have a lot of dogs in this country. No, 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 it's, it's not that place. I do not think you're going to count Nigeria among the 50 countries that allow dogs. Of course, we do not discriminate dogs, but I do not think so. 250k. Come on, man. That guy is lying. You know, uh, I talked about PVC now. I said, go and get your PVC. Do not allow anybody to discourage you. Check out this actor, Leonard. He said, did I just hear your PVC again? Please, what happened to the ones we got seven years ago and very recent? Three years ago, Chai, my darling Ninja, may we open our eyes, mind and sense to see what the problem is and call it what it is. Please, no brainwashed person should preach PVC to me. Let's be completely honest. Hmm? You are complaining again that, okay, why should you be getting a PVC? What happened to the one of seven years or three years ago? Why are they renewing it? You ask this such question, right? Well, let me tell you. If you want to make a change, if you want to change a system, should you just sit down at home and criticize, write something on Twitter, say, don't encourage me or don't preach something? If you actually want to make a change, you are saying something is going wrong and you want to act on it, you want to actually make a change. It's simple. You, the, the, the nearest way for you to have a say is PVC. Get your PVC, even though they are renewing it every five, five months. Get it. Then during your own time, we will come together, vote someone that will make us have a permanent a permanent pvc not just a uh, temporary a permanent one you can just walk into our office get your permanent pvc it's about time we start doing that uh no allow this man to discourage you so uh to end this video let's talk about kanye west so kanye west took to his instagram story yesterday and decided to announce that Kim Kardashian is stopping him from attending their daughter birthday. Yeah, I'm just wishing my daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the light, it's the kind of thing right that really Boulevard. has affected my health for the longest. Uh, and I'm just not playing. I'm not letting, I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And I'm, I'm not finna let this happen. And we're going to be in real time take a slight with right this. Turn onto right here. Right. Chicago, happy birthday. I love you. And I'm just putting this online because I need y'all support. I didn't call Kim, text the nannies. I got on the phone with Tristan. He he said 
he asked Chloe, won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party right now. And that's going to imprint in her mind that I wasn't there for her. You get what I'm saying? Like, well, I guys, uh, guess what? But later, it seems as if he was allowed to the party because pictures also show him uh, at the party and also speaking with uh, Kim Kardashian's mom. Then it was later, uh, after the investigation, after sources talking to Kim, you know, it was later established that Kanye West suggested two birthday, separate birthday. That is, Kim Kardashian should host her own birthday for their daughter. After that, he will also host a separate birthday for his daughter. But apparently, that minute, Kanye West decided to be like, you know what, I'm not hosting a garden birthday again. I'm going to attend that birthday. And you never really informed anybody. And you were the one that uh, said you want a separate birthday. You know, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I do not see genuity in friendship when it comes to Kanye West. I know Kim Kardashian has of course also have their own demons, but Kanye West, I do not see genuity in what he says. There's nothing genuine about him. If you will really check his history, check if the people around him, check how he has been, we know that there's nothing we actually really genuine about Kanye West. But it's also good for him to really want to attend that bad, that bad deal. And he attended it too. So, Thank you guys for watching the boy again, Adam's link, and uh, kindly leave your comment below. Tell me exactly what you thought about the video. So, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you on my next video. Don't go anywhere.